Hey, this is Susan Velez from SusanVelez.com and welcome to my YouTube channel where I make the techie side of blogging easy. So if this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I highly recommend that you do because every Wednesday what I like to do is I like to create a video that I feel like will help you not only start your WordPress blog, but will help you manage and grow it in hopes of helping you earn some money online. So in today's tutorial, what we're going to be covering is we're going to be talking about WordPress plugins. Um, these plugins are extremely useful for helping you accomplish stuff on your website. So I'm going to run you through on how to install a plugin, how to delete a plugin, how to update a plugin, as well as how to find plugins. So here I am inside of my WordPress dashboard on my dev demo site. You can see it's the demo.dev. And I highly recommend that whenever you're testing plugins out, you use a local development WordPress site, especially if you're not really familiar with WordPress because plugins have been known to break a live site if they're not compatible with your version of WordPress. And I've actually created a video that will walk you through step-by-step -step on how to install WordPress locally so that you can play around with it, get familiar with it, so that this will help you test stuff out on your local site and then if it doesn't break your local site, then you can take it to your live site. So anyway, let's get started. So what you want to do is you want to come over here to plugins and you can see that if you go to installed plugins, it's going to take you to all the plugins that are currently installed on your WordPress site. So these are the plugins that I have installed on my development site. And as you can see, all the ones that are lightly shaded blue, these are all my active site or my active plugins. So if I wanted to make one active, like say Gravity Forms, if I wanted to activate this one, uh, what we would do was just click on activate, but I'm not going to do that because um, I just don't want to do that. But if you wanted to activate, let's see this one, we want to activate this one, then we just click on activate. And then this one will um, become active and then you could start using it. So you see it, it turns from a white shaded color to a blue shaded color. So then you could go ahead and set up the plugin and start using it. So what we want to do is we want to find a plugin that we could use for our WordPress site. So we're going to come over here. We're going to click on add new. And this is going to take you to the WordPress repository where all these plugins that you use, they are free. Uh, you might not get all the benefits of using the free plugin. They might have some features that would require you to update a plugin and get all the features. But all these plugins in here, you can install them and, and start using them. Like I said, in order to access some of the features that you might want, you would have to upgrade. But you could install them directly from your back office right here, or you could open up this link and it would bring up the plugin repository and you could download them to your computer and install them that way. So we're going to be installing them from inside of our plugin, our dashboard. So when you come to this page, you can see there are four categories. There are featured, popular, recommended, and favorites. So what you could do is if you don't have an idea of what you want to accomplish or you don't know what plugin you want to use, you could actually browse these features and search for the most popular plugins. Or you could come over here to the recommended plugins and it will tell you which recommended plugins they or which plugins they recommend and you could actually base your decision off that. Now if you know that you want to search for a contact plugin right here, then you would just type in a keyword and it would bring up all these contact plugins. And as you can see, these are all the contact plugins that you could actually use on your WordPress site. Now before I install any type of plugin, there are a couple of variables that I look at. And the first one being is how many reviews does this plugin actually have? And as you can see, this contact form right here, it's contact bank. I've never used it, but it's got uh, four reviews. It's got 130 or four star reviews, and it's got 130 people who have reviewed it. It's got 30,000 active installs. It was last updated three weeks ago, and then it is compatible with your version of WordPress. Whereas this one right here was reviewed by one person. They gave it a five star rating has 10,000 active installs or over 10,000 active installs and it was last updated two years ago and it is untested with your version of WordPress. So I would definitely not use this one, but I would consider using this one if this was something that I wanted to use. Now in order to get more details to find out more whether you want to install it, you could click on this little more details link 
and then it would give you more details about this plugin and you could kind of come through here and scroll through all these tabs it'll give you the description of what the plugin does it'll give you a description of how to install the plugin screenshots of how to use the plugin as well as the change log as the kind of changes that the, the plugin itself has gone through and then frequently ask questions as well as other notes and reviews from people who have previous, previously used this plugin or are currently using this plugin. So if you wanted to install it, if you read everything and you're happy with it and you wanna go ahead and install it, you click on install now. If not, you close this out. And we are actually looking for the context seven and I believe I saw it here under the popular tab. So as you can see, this plugin is a very popular plugin and it is used by a lot of people who love to blog and create, want to create easy contact forms. So as you can see, it's got over a four star rating. It's been uh, reviewed by a, over a thousand people. It was last updated a month ago. It is compatible with your version of WordPress and it's got over 1 million active installs. So this definitely meets my criteria. So what I would do is I click on install now because we want to go ahead and get it installed on our WordPress site. And then in order to use it, we want to click on activate. And then this is going to activate the plugin so that we can start creating contact forms. So you can see right here it is uh, already active and ready to use. So that is how you find plugins inside of the plugin repository. Now, another way to add plugins to your WordPress site is if you purchase the plugin from a third party vendor or some other place online, then what you want to do is you want to come over here to add new. And then we're going to upload the plugin this time because we're not going to, we're not going to find a plugin in the repository. So we're going to click on upload plugin and then we're going to browse to it on our computer. And I've got the Beaver Builder plugin on my desktop. So we're going to click on that. And then right here where you can see where it says install now, we're going to click on that. And then once it's installed, once it's done installing, it's going to say plugin installed successfully. So now we want to activate the plugin. And then this is going to allow us to start using the plugin. So now we could use this plugin. It's ready to roll and we're ready to start using it. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and delete a plugin. So let's just say that we no longer want to use the Beaver Builder plugin. So we're going to deactivate that plugin and it is going to delete it, not delete it, but remove it from being able to being used. So it, it is not a live plugin anymore because as you can see, it went from a light shade of blue to the white background. Now, this doesn't mean that it is completely deleted off of our website. Actually, it is not deleted off our website. It's just kind of like in a sleeping mode. In order to wake it back up and be able to start using it, we would just click on activate and then this would allow us to start using this plugin again. So if you're not using a plugin and you've dis you've installed a plugin and you decide you don't want to use this plugin, what you want to do is you want to delete it, but you want to completely delete it from your WordPress site. So we want to deactivate it and we want to go ahead and delete it. And I highly recommend that you any plugin that you're not using on your WordPress site that is not in use, you go ahead and you delete it because if you don't delete it, then you have to constantly update it because updated plugins Plugins that are not updated on a regular basis are one of the easiest ways to get hacked on your WordPress site. So that's why I always recommend if you're not using the plugin, go ahead and delete it. It's very easy to do. We could just go ahead right here where it says delete. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete the Beaver Builder plugin pro version and its data? Yes. So we click OK. And it's going to delete the plugin. It says Beaver Builder plugin was successfully deleted. So there we go. That is how you delete a plugin. Now, Updating plugins is just as important as deleting plugins that are not being used. Um, plugin developers will come up with updates whenever WordPress is updated or if they've found a patch that needs to be secured in their WordPress plugin, they'll send out updates. Now this site does not actually, this demo site, all the plugins are updated. If they weren't updated, um, I actually pulled up one of my demo sites on here. It is a uh, development side of my live site it is susanvelez.dev or svelez.dev it is a uh, live clone of my live site so as you can see right here the Yoast SEO plugin it says it needs to be updated version 4.1 and then you could click on here for the details or you could just go ahead and update from here now if you don't want to update from here you could actually come here to dashboard and you'll see that it says updates we click on that 
and then it's going to take us to the uh, page where we could do a, an update. Say you had more than one plugin, then you would have all the plugins right here that need to be updated. So what you would do is if, if you had more than one plugin and you wanted to update them quickly, you click on select all, but for this, you can see we only have one. And then what you would do is click on update plugins. Now I have the uh, updraft plus plugin on my live site and on my demo site as well too. And one of the reasons that I upgraded to the premium version of the updraft plus on my live site is because as you can see, before I do any updates, it automatically makes a backup of my website. And I love that because now if I actually make an update on a plugin on my live site and it causes my site to crash, I can easily restore back to a previous version before the plugin was updated. So that is the reason that this is going on right here is Updraft Plus actually makes an automatic backup of my site before it does the backup. So if you don't have, if you're not using the Updraft Plus plugin, then I highly recommend that you get it. I am actually leaving a link in the description below and you can check it out. And it's what I'll use it for my uh, personal site and I love it. So that is the reason that I use it. So anyway, now that we've covered how to install plugins, how to update plugins, how to delete plugins, as well as how to activate plugins, you now have everything you need to know about WordPress plugins. Now you just need to go out there and find the plugins that you want to use. And I highly recommend not, not putting a ton of plugins on your WordPress site, but using only the plugins that you need to accomplish what you want to accomplish. So, once again, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll talk to you next week. Have a great day.